Welcome back to the Design Build Series. I'm Amanda Cradiville, here to introduce you to the owner of Housewarming, Karen Pfeiffer Bush. Karen, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? As Amanda said, I'm Karen Pfeiffer Bush. I'm the CEO and owner of Housewarming, Home Staging and Design. Um, and I live in West Seattle and have um, two sons. Um, one is 20 and away at college coming home this week and another one is 15, a freshman in high school here in West Seattle. When did you start housewarming and can you tell us a little bit about how it's evolved into the design firm it is today? I started housewarming in um, 2015 and at the time I was selling real estate um, so I started the business as a complement to my real estate business and um, in the beginning I was mostly doing home staging um, for my listings and then that grew where other brokers asked me to do staging for them and pretty much out of that housewarming was born and then from there um, I hired um, designers um, I started off actually with an internship program with um, the Art Institute and interior design students and hired interior design interns um, to help me with staging and some other things of, you know, business development and all that. And then over time, um, I wanted to further employ the skills of the interior designers that I soon hired at, from being interns to employees. So our design business was born and a lot of that was to do with wanting to um, really give my designers an opportunity to stay with my company and to do what they were trained to do and, and really wanted to do. And um, it just was one more example of investing in people and knowing when you have good people and building services off of the skills that they offer. Can you tell us a little bit about Housewarming's core values? Housewarming is all about people. Um, it's all about our clients and um, our employees, our team members. And, you know, over the years, one of the things that I really attribute to our success is that when I've had different team members take interest in something that they want to learn more about or develop skills in or start to do more of, um, we've we've supported that whenever it's made sense. For instance, um, our lead stager, Lori Sullivan, who does an amazing job of, of design and staging real estate properties and model units and um, all kinds of things. She expressed interest in, and she had been a amateur photographer. So she expressed interest in taking real estate um, photos for us, for our clients list, for our um, brokers listings. And so we supported that, helped her with some training and, and built up that part of our business where now it's really an integral part of our staging business as well as our design business. So really, I think it's investing in people. What do our clients need? What are their needs? We're here for them. We want to help them. If we don't, if we don't offer a service, we'll either learn how to do it or we'll find somebody who can do it for them. And I feel the same way about my team members that if they want to, um, explore something that makes sense to be added as a service that's going to serve our clients and serve the company, I want to support that all the way. So to me, the core value of housewarming is people. Last but not least, can you tell me what your favorite part of your job is? Well, not to sound like a broken record, but it's the people. And now during this time of um, isolation more than ever, I really miss everybody. Um, I just love the different asset aspects of my job where I'm out doing a lot of sales and networking. I'm meeting with other business people um, and meeting individually with my team members and meeting clients. Um, to me, every day is different. I, I have a different challenge and a different opportunity every single day, especially these days. These were not challenges I expected to face, but here we are and I'm facing them. And um, so we, yeah, it's just really about, you know, every day is different and fun. And I love all the people that I, we get to surround ourselves with clients, colleagues, partners, and certainly my team members. Special thanks to Karen for joining us this week. And please make sure to like and subscribe and join us next week for our video on how to get your project started right.